Welcome everyone. In this video, we will learn how to integrate with APIs generated by API Maker. For that, let's go to VS Code and open any folder inside the VS Code. Here, right click and create a new file with name index.html. Generate a basic index.html structure. Save the file. Now, right click and open that folder into terminal. Inside the terminal, make sure you have node installed. Check the node version. After that, install local web server globally. Once installed, just type ws and press enter. Open this port 8000 in your system and you will see the page welcome to api maker now let's go to index.html and add new script inside the script create one function with the name main and just call that function now go back to api maker and if you followed our previous tutorial you should be having this mysql instance 8 with inventory database inside that with order transactions table go to that and click on this test button simple press the send button and see we are getting the data now let's go to this integrations tab select the fetch create a function with the name async function get order transactions paste that entire object i am just formatting the code here let's minimize that here we don't need all other headers we just need xam authorization and content type all other things are ready let's create one variable const response and hold that response make a await there and our response we want json return that response call this function order transactions just print that save the object now before calling the order transactions we need to pass one more token which is xam authorization token which is api user token now let's go back to api maker go to dashboard go to system api we have this api get token click on this test button go to body payload generate a single object here in the username write default and inside the password write 12345 when you install api maker you have this user by default created with a username as the default and password as the 12345 with full permission that user you can see inside the api user permissions now press the send button and you can see we are getting that token this token value we should be passing in that api call go to integration tab select this click on javascript fetch create one more function format the code here we don't need all the headers we just need content type header here username is default password is 1235 that is inbuilt we'll get the response we need json here so we'll write a json and we'll just return the response inside the main we'll get the token object
our token is going to be inside the token object we have one data property inside that we have token let's see so this is going to be entire token object inside that we have data property inside that we have a token so like this the token we want inside the order transactions so inside the order transaction let's pass this token and pass this token inside this header value here we need to pass a weight go back to web page refresh the page and we are getting the data of the order transactions it is as simple as that this way you can call all the apis there is a lot more in authorization so for now just remember the small logic of getting the token let's say we want to get data of the products table collapse this token at the end we have the table name just type products save the content come here refresh the page and you will see data of the products this is how we can pass query parameters directly inside the url now let's say we want to get data of the product with name iphone x so for that we can just pass like this save the content refresh the page and you will see only one object with the name product iphone x we will learn all these apis one by one in detail in other upcoming videos